Finding the impact velocity for projectile motion. Finding the impact velocity for projectile motion is not a difficult task, but it's not one that's done quickly either. First, there are a lot of steps that we're going to do. When a projectile comes down and lands, the angle it lands at and the impact velocity it has is not going to be the same that it had when it launched from the initial conditions. The only time it will be the same is when you land at the same height you take off from. For example, throwing a football, throwing a baseball in a field, they land at the same height they take off from. But for most problems, that's not going to be true. So to find this, we're going to kind of work the problem backwards. When we started projectile motion problem, we started with the hypotenuse of a triangle and then found out its components. Now we're going to have the vertical and horizontal components and work backwards to find the hypotenuse. So horizontally, I have Vx equals Vx0. So that's saying that the final horizontal velocity equals the initial horizontal velocity. The big question here is, why? Well, that's because horizontally, there's not an acceleration. Because horizontally, there aren't any forces acting on our projectile. No forces, no acceleration, so the velocity is the same for everything horizontally. So horizontally, our velocity is going to be 20 meters per second cosine 30. So 20 meters per second cosine 30 is a number. That's one part. It's one component for our triangle. Now I've got to find the other component for our triangle, Vy. It's not in my data table yet, so I've got to go through the process and calculate it. I'm going to use the vertical givens to find Vy. That is, I'm looking for the velocity when it impacts the ground vertically, that vertical velocity. To do this, I've got a couple of variables I can work with. I've got V0, X, T, and A, all in the vertical direction. So all I need now is a formula with V, V0, X, T, and or A. To do that, I'm going to use the V equals V0 plus AT, or the BOAT formula. Except I'm going to use my subscript, so it's going to be Vy equals Vy0 plus GT. So Vy is equal to 20 meters per second sine 30 plus negative 9.8 meters per second squared times 3.1452.1721 seconds. But the clear question here is, why is the gravity negative 9.8? Well, again, it comes back to our assigning of directions. We're assuming that our initial velocity is always positive, and in this case it goes up. So gravity goes the opposite direction. It goes down because it goes the opposite direction and has a negative sign. When I do the math, I get my final calculation of Vy equaling negative 23.479, etc., meters per second. But the negative sign is not something to worry about. What that's telling me is something I already knew. I already knew that it was going down, and the negative sign just tells me it's going the opposite direction of V0, which in this case is down. So on my data table, I'm going to write 23.4691306 meters per second going downwards, my down arrow. So now let's go back to our givens. I'm going to substitute for Vx and Vy, and I'm going to use trig and geometry to calculate the impact velocity and theta. So for my data table, I've just found the vertical velocity and impact, so I'm going to write that in as the 23.469. And horizontally, it's still 20 meters per second cosine 30. Now I've got the lengths of two sides of the triangle. All i got to do is find the third. So to find the angle in this case, I'm going to use tangent. So tangent theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. So tangent theta is equal to 23.469 divided by the quantity of 20 meters per second cosine 30 degrees. And when I do that, I get an angle of 53.57 degrees with the ground. So that's the direction, 53.57 degrees with the ground. To find the magnitude, I'm going to use Pythagorean's theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So 23.469 meters per second squared plus 20 meters per second cosine 30 squared equals the impact velocity squared. And when I do the math, I get an impact velocity of 29.17 meters per second. So the magnitude of the velocity is 29.17 meters per second. Sometimes the magnitude of the impact velocity is called the impact speed, because speed is a scalar, it doesn't have direction. But since we're looking for impact velocity, we also need direction. And the direction is the angle, 53.57 degrees with the ground.